I made a futile attempt to have the cat meowing at the start of this video because we're talking about character voice and meowing is basically his voice because he's a cat. Needless to say, it didn't work, so I guess this is going to be the introduction to the video. Character voice can be broken down into two different areas. Or at least I'm breaking it down into two separate areas for the purposes of this video. You have the narrative voice of the character, and you also have how they speak through dialogue. Narrative voice is how all the non-dialogue parts of the story sound when written from the viewpoint of the character. This gets a little complicated because you are also laying your own authorial voice on top of that, so the character voice and the authorial voice kind of meld together. The dialogue part of character voice is obvious, it's how they speak through dialogue. Having distinct character voices will help to make the characters in your story seem more real. It will add a bit of variety to your writing, and will do some of the heavy lifting when it comes to characterization. Character voice is a bit of an overlooked tool, I think, when it comes to characterization, because it allows you, when it's done well, to show a lot of things about the character without necessarily having to tell them directly to the reader. That being said, I think that character voice is as much a byproduct of good characters than the cause of it. I have this half-baked theory that people like distinct character voices because distinct character voices usually mean that the underlying characters are good characters. And you can't have distinct character voices without having well-rounded, fully developed characters, which are what people like. I mean, sure, you can slap a dialect on and fiddle with the word choice of an underdeveloped character and arguably give them a distinct voice, but even in doing that, you're working to develop the character, so... Nevertheless, character voice is an important concept that shouldn't be overlooked. So here are three tips on how to nail your character voice. Also, I should mention most of these are specific to the narrative part of character voice that I mentioned. I have a couple of videos specific to dialogue that will help you with the dialogue part if you're interested. Tip number one, focus on focus. Everyone notices different things about the world around them and the people in it. This varies based on your occupation, interests, education, basically everything about you. All of these aspects of the character are going to affect their viewpoint, what they notice, what they don't notice, and what they think of it. Your characters are not only going to describe things differently, but they are going to describe different things. And of course, this doesn't just apply to descriptions. When a character is engaged in conversation, they are going to respond to different pieces of information. They will think about and internalize what's said in different ways. These things will obviously affect what they say in the dialogue, but also the thoughts and actions that happened around the dialogue. Beyond dialogue, their emotional reactions to the events of the story are going to be shaped by who that character is. This is more of the what part of character voice rather than the how. Your character is actually changing how the story is fed to the reader by filtering the setting and other information through their own backstory. This is very important in making the characters distinct rather than just making them sound distinct. Speaking of making characters sound distinct, tip number two, don't rely too heavily on dialect. Just removing the G from all the ING verbs or making the character not use contractions or adding in slang will make a scene sound different, but will not necessarily contribute much to character voice. These are kind of the superficial elements of character voice, and changing these things alone is not usually enough. You can also run into some cliches and other issues here. While these things do have an impact on character voice, you need to go a little bit deeper to truly nail it. Think about sentence length and paragraph structure. Does the character speak in very short, choppy sentences or in longer, meandering ones? Do they ask a lot of questions in the narrative? Do they use metaphors or similes? These are the kinds of structural elements you need to vary when writing a character if you want that character to have a distinct voice. Of course, how they speak should be tied to who that character is, their education, worldview, culture, etc. 
Think of these things as adding flavor to the character voice, whereas what the character notices and focuses on and thinks about is more of the substance. This is not what they notice, but how they notice it and how that information gets transferred to the reader. There are, of course, some things to be careful with here. As I mentioned, avoid cliches like removing contractions to make a character sound smart. Don't overuse slang or dialect-specific words or phrases. Heavy dialect sections, especially a dialect that you've made up, can be really grating on a lot of readers, so use those things sparingly. Don't lean too heavily on one element of the character either. Like, if there's a specific element of that character's backstory, don't make every second sentence in their viewpoints a metaphor about that thing. Wheel of Time, I'm looking at you. And of course, the usual warning about real-world dialects here. If you're writing a real-world dialect, do your homework, get someone to review it. It's very easy to be offensive when you think you're being accurate. Speaking of accuracy, tip number three, make sure your characters are fully developed. I don't see what that tip has to do with accuracy. Maybe I should have said speaking of inaccuracy. This gets back to what I talked about at the beginning. This idea that character voice is a byproduct of having well-developed characters. And you can't create distinct voices for each of your characters unless those characters are well-developed. Now, obviously, character development is out of scope for this video. I have a number of other videos you can check out if you want to learn more about it. But suffice it to say, if you want to nail character voice, you need to nail your character development. Some other th advice that I'll offer here is to try and put some distinct characters in your story. When I first started writing, I found a lot of the characters I was putting in my stories were very similar. Having a bunch of really similar characters makes creating distinct character voices difficult. Also, be careful that none of your characters are too distinctive. I kind of mentioned this a bit earlier, but it's very easy to have one viewpoint that is way over the top and too distinct from the rest of the book. If you have a character that speaks in a thick dialect, or if they're of a completely different culture, or if the way that you're structuring their viewpoints are very different from the rest of the book, it can be a little bit jarring for the reader. If they're too distinct, then the reader might get whiplash or they might not like the way that a certain viewpoint is written, which might turn them off of the book entirely. Another thing I'll add is that character voice is something that usually comes in at a later stage of the writing process. It's not something that you should be worried about in a first draft and maybe not even in a second draft. You need to really know and understand your characters in order to write them in a distinct voice. After you've spent some time with the story and done a few sets of revisions, you will probably, hopefully, know the characters enough to write in a way that will be distinct. Just like I made the transition to the conclusion distinct by not really writing one. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the advice in it useful. If you want to see more stuff like this, you can check out all my other writing advice related videos and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.